a hot. So I hope all is okay. I'm not going to be on here for long. I'm only going to be on here for a few minutes, but I'm just on here. <laughs> I've had a little bit of a three day break. I'm just chilling out, relaxing, enjoying life as, as one does. But um, yeah, <laughs> something really funny took place like last night. And it's just like, I'm thinking, hmm, this is a bit do -ah. It's like, it's a bit strange. And it's like, well, apparently I have kids' images on my devices. Okay. Um, well, the police, they know where I am. They can come at any time. And uh, apparently I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm still talking to Rick Berry on the phone. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> if that's what people think. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, so, but I do, <laughs> I'm sorry, oh god, this shit's so funny, it, it well, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, apparently I'm, t oh my god, seriously, wow, uh, it's just baffling, you know what I mean, but like I say, <laughs> you know, I'm not talking to Rick Berry, but like I say, everybody's entitled to their opinion, you know, it's a free world. As they want to believe. Um, <laughs> so seriously, um, like I say, I've, I'm not denying to the fact that I'm, I'm not going to say, oh, I've never spoken to Rick Berry because I have spoken to Rick Berry um, once or twice. But as soon as I realised who he was and what he was about, I dropped him like a sack of shit. And as far as I'm concerned, he's a horrible man and I don't want to be involved with him. Um, but apart from that, I'm supposed to be talking to him on my phone. Wow, that just <laughs> that just says it all. That actually, that is that to me. That's like crunching the biscuit. That's like having that last Rolo. You know what I mean? It's like seriously, dude, are you for real? <laughs> oh my god, seriously, it's just so it's so dumb. It's funny, you know what I mean? But hey, it is what it is. And apparently, oh yeah, apparently I'm still talking to Jupiter and Moon. Not that there's a problem between me and Jupiter and Moon, because there isn't. It's just, I decided to go my own way. I've become what they call a, a lone wolf. I've decided to go my own way in life. <coughs> and I've noted... <coughs> I noticed that every time that I used to go on people's panels, all these weirdos and all these trolls would sort of like make their lives very uncomfortable and unbearable. So I decided off my own, to make a rod for my own back, I walked away. You know, I walked away. Um, so it's like, yeah, I say big up Junes, big up Moon. You know, good luck to you. I hope all is okay. I've got no animosity between them. I've got no qualm with them. Um, I just chose to just walk away. You know, it's you know, it's not fair on other people that they should get trolled on just because they allowed me on their panel. So I thought, well, fuck this. I'm I'm not doing this no more. So I walked away. I do my own shit when I want to, how I want to. You know what I mean? And when I want to. So at the end of the day, you know, I just get on with life. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't care. You know what I mean? So at least if I do my own shit, I'm responsible for my own shit. And I, I stand up for my shit. You know what I mean? So it's like I say. But the one thing I do want to say is, is Luke, seriously, you allowed this idiot up onto your panel chatting shit about people. Oh, it's this bag, it's going to do this, it's going to do that. Mate, the bloke chats probably more shit than Brian Hell does. Seriously, Luke. Seriously. You allow this troll on your fucking panel to troll people. Man, seriously, man, I thought you had better dignity than that. But then again, you're vulnerable yourself and I can see why he does it. You know what I mean? So, but like I say, it's down to you, Luke. It's your panel. I don't give a fuck. I can give a shit. 
You know, I don't like you, you don't like me, that's the way I want to keep it. But like I say, you know, it's one thing I've always learned in this life, guilty by association. So if you want to allow fucking jockstrap to keep coming up on your panel, using you and your panel to, 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 to keep paneling his shit and bullshit and lies about fucking people, and yes, other victims as well, then when he does finally get caught, arrested, charged and convicted, you'll probably go down with him for just for the fact that you allowed him up on your panel to fucking keep peddling his bullshit. So, but like I say, that's down to you. I don't care. I'm not bothered, you know. Um, so at the end of the day, I couldn't give a flying fuck. But I just find it absolutely funny, though, as to how this weirdo that stalks me Fucking, it's just bizarre. Absolutely fucking bizarre. It's just weird how they operate. It really is strange. But, like I said, I know it don't bother me. It's no skin off my ass. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like I say, the police have got all the evidence. I don't really care. But one thing I will say, though, Jupiter, Moon, be patient. Just... Be patient, okay? Just be patient. I found out an awful lot the other day with the, the reasons why the police, like a lot of people, like I did as well, I thought that the police weren't doing nothing. They are doing things, I promise you. But because of all the pandemic and all that lot, it's put millions upon millions of cases back. They are so chock-a-block with cases, arrests, and everything. It is really, really bad. The CPS are completely logged. They are completely logged over. You know, you just got to bear with the police. The investigations and things like that are still ongoing. Trust me. Trust me. So just bear with it, okay? Just bear with it. Like I say, Chiba to Moon, your case is your case. I, I can't get involved. I cannot get involved. That's nothing to do with me. But I'm just saying in general, for every people out there that have got dealings with police for whatever reason, they are so busy and over... It's just... bizarre it's just absolutely bizarre you know and it's like it's like please will do something you've just got to be patient you know it doesn't help with the fact that you've got weirdo police officers fucking murdering their own and fucking god knows what else but yeah trust me trust me they will do something trust me and i already know is because Bedfordshire Police and Metropolitan Police are so backed up with cases. It's unreal. It is unreal. So, like I say, just be patient. All will be sorted, well, hopefully for you guys soon. But like I say, for me, my case is taking a while um, because of the fact that fucking there is so much shit going on. It's unreal. They just haven't got the time to just literally just do this, do that. You know what I mean? They're understaffed, overworked, underpaid. So, yeah, you just got to be patient. Keep fighting. Keep fighting, Moon. Keep fighting, Jupiter. Keep fighting, King James or Shawnee. You know what I mean? Just literally keep fighting. Don't give up. Do not give up. Because that's what these nasty bastard trolls want. Don't give up. Because I ain't. I will never stop fighting. Never. I will get justice on these bastards. For what they've done to me. And my family. 
I will never give up. They want a fucking war with me. They got a fucking war. But like I say, I mean, I don't, I don't worry about that shit. You know what I mean? I just let these idiot trolls get on with it. So if anyone's writing any messages on my thing, please. I'm not reading any messages or anything today. I've got better shit to be dealing with, to be fair. So, sorry. I should have switched the comments messages off, really, to be fair. Fucking, I'm not raging. I'm just saying for how it is. In fact, I'm quite, I'm quite relaxed, actually. I'm quite peaceful today. I'm, I'm very, very relaxed. But like I say, you know, I just let these trolls get on with it now. Let them get on with it. Because to me, it's just more evidence. I'm sorry, Luke, but I had to record your show last night for evidence purposes. I have got it recorded. The whole fucking shebang. So, but it's not because of you, Luke. Your personal shit and beef with other people, not my concern. Don't get involved. The only reason why I recorded your show last night was for the fact that it had certain person on there chatting shit about me again. And like I say, it's just more evidence for me. It's fantastic. It's great. And it's just all being logged up. Like I say, the police have said the case that I've got against these trolls is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So, like I say, I don't worry about shit like that now. Like the police said, even if it took another five years, at least, they said, Mr Sullivan, at least we know that you're keeping all the evidence logged, dated, and timed, recorded, and everything. When the time does come, it will just make the judges and the CPS's decision more quick to deal with. So, it's like I say, I don't, I don't really care. I've got nothing to hide. So, you know, but like I say to everyone out there, don't read. I see, I, I really want to call these trolls the machine. There's actually a group out there called Rage Against the Machine, and that's what I'm saying. I don't rage against the machine, you know. What I mean, they're boring, they're old, they're crap, you know. What I mean, they've got nothing else better to do, <coughs> you know. So, like I say, I let these fucking dickheads get on with it. Let them say what they want to say. I will be there recording. I guarantee you. I might not always come up online and do my live streams. But I guarantee you. I will be sitting back and recording. And I guarantee it. It's just evidence for me. So, I don't really care. I let these silly idiots spout their bullshit and lies about me. Like I say, I've got nothing to hide. The police can come here anytime, day or night. And it's like the police have said, we know what's going on, Mr. Sullivan. We see the false reports coming in every single day. And I thought, fuck me, what, they're doing it every day? And he said, yeah, unfortunately. We get at least two or three every single day against you, saying shit about you and children and all that. I, I say, well, fair enough then. <laughs> it don't bother me one iota. Doesn't bother me one iota. But at least I know I've got the evidence. So it's like I say, I can go to bed at night and I can sleep soundly. But I bet these motherfuckers can't, though. So like I say, I don't, I don't worry about these trolls. But like I say, big up Bleeding, big up Esau, big up Brian, big up Moon, big up Jupiter. Like I say, keep fighting. You must keep fighting. Don't give up. Do not ever give up against these bastards. Don't give up. All right? Like the police have said to me, my investigations is getting stronger and stronger and stronger every day. It's like the police have said, Mr. Sullivan... Just because we're not going bum biddy bum biddy bum 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 like that doesn't mean that there's things going behind closed doors. You know, these trolls think that with the police, it's like the hospital. You sit in an accident and emergency on some days 
and it's clear, it's empty. It's what's going on behind those closed doors. So like I say, that's why I just sit back and half the time I'm literally laughing myself. And I think to myself, how embarrassing. These idiots are saying shit about me. And they, they know it's not true. They know it's a load of lies and bullshit. And I'm sitting back here laughing my bloody tits off. And I think to myself, oh, well, apparently I talked to Rick Berry. What a fucking joke. Apparently I still talk to Rick and, uh, not Rick, uh, Moon and Jupiter. How embarrassing. I haven't spoken to them for a long time. You know, in fact, it's got to be at least a couple of months. You know, and it's like, how embarrassing to know that these idiots one day are going to be bum, 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 straight in that courtroom and it's going to be wallop and they're going to go straight down. And I'm going to say, well, I told you so. I kept warning you. I kept warning you to go away. Leave me alone. But no, you didn't want to listen. You kept spouting off your lies and your bullshit. Well, now you know what's going to happen. And it's coming their way. And these trolls know this. These trolls know what is coming their way. They know. And they're shitting it. Absolutely shitting it. Especially one of them. There's always going to be, Oh, I've got something so big. And if I did this, I'm going to leave the internet. Mate. He ain't ever going to leave. Do you know why? Because he sits there wanking off all day over his victim's misery. He loves it too much. And if you lot out there are too fucking stupid to realise that, then you're more dumb than I thought. And I will say that about folks. It's because those idiots out there are too blind to see what this fucking idiot's all about. He's the one that's unsettling the whole of YouTube. I promise you that. I'm going to say it. Because I'm not afraid to say it. This cunt is the one that's going around winding every fucking panels up. Now, I will say something. Yeah, I did change one of my uh, old accounts to uh, his uh, this particular person's name. Because I'm sick to death of him keep using my account names and putting it up on random other people's details. So yeah, I did do it. I've got nothing to hide at all. I hold my hands up to that. But I will say this though, which is a load of bullshit. I do not go into Easy's panel and fucking um, try and troll him and that. I've got no reason to troll Easy. Easy's never done me no wrong. He's never done me no wrong. But yet again, the he got abused and bullied and trolled on because he, he allowed me onto his panel. That's why I don't go onto his panel. Because the trolls wouldn't leave him alone. Because a certain person is going around all the networks. Bear with me for a minute, I've just got to mute up.
Right, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. I just had um, one of my neighbours come round just to sort some stuff out. Um, yeah, I just find it ever so bizarre that I'm supposed to be doing all this, doing all that, saying all this, saying all that. No, I don't. And to be fair, there's only the, the only real reason why the trolls are doing this. And it doesn't matter what I've come to realise or realisation of what things I'm coming to. It just boils down to one thing. It's because they know where I live. If I moved away tomorrow, what would these trolls really do? What would they be without me? They'd be gibbering wrecks. Oh, we'll find him within 24 hours. No, you won't. Because one, I don't vote anyway. Never have done, never will do. Because I don't legally have the right to vote. And that's for, um, how can I say, political reasons. I'm not allowed to vote. Secondly, um, I'm not with any council at all. I have no associations with any councils whatsoever. I don't pay any of the taxes on that now. Ten days have gone since I, my, my diagnosis. So I don't have to pay tax or anything like that. My days of paying tax are over. And what is it you got call it? National insurance and all that. I don't pay national insurance anymore. I don't pay any of that now. Those days are gone. So I have no connections to the councils, whatever. So to try and go through and try and find me that way, you've got about as much chance as winning a lottery. So, I mean, yeah. So how else are you going to find me? <laughs> Unless I'm Percy on the street showing my butthole, saying, oh, I'm fat down, fat down. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Fucking weirdos. You know what I mean? You've got no life, man. Just sad people. What would you do if I was to move? Because I am actually moving. Because I thought to myself, because I don't really want to move, to be fair. This is my home. But I thought to myself, I'm just going to be a cunt and move. Just for the pure sake of it. Just to be a cunt towards my trolls. Because at least then I know they'll never be able to find me. And then it's like the police have said. If it's proven that they find out where you live through your internet. And we find out who they are. We will come down on them like a ton of bricks. Because it's classed as actively seeking me out. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll go along with that. So it's like I say, I don't give a flying fuck, to be fair. <coughs> <coughs> so, you know... I mean, why the hell they want to follow me around is unfucking real. It's a joke. I mean, seriously. They say they've got kids. They say they've got wives or girlfriends or boyfriends. Go and get a life. It's summertime now. Go and make love to your boyfriends and girlfriends in a field somewhere. With a load of cows sniffing your asses. Seriously. Go away. Leave me alone. I mean, if you went out on the street and someone gave you a wallop and they said, go away, don't come back here again. You're not going to come back there again, are you? So what is the difference that I'm telling you, weirdos, go away, leave me alone? Because I've got plenty of evidence of me saying that on my live streams to these idiots. And it's like the police have said that is the best form of defence. And that's why my case is getting so strong. 
because at the end of the day, I'm telling these fucking weirdos, go away, leave me alone. And it's like these trolls say, well, we're not trolls. Well, what are you doing then? What are you doing? You follow me around, you stalk my live streams, you try and stir shit up, you go around my village, you go around ringing random people up, you go around to the fucking school in my area, well, what sort of normal person does that? And you think, I don't know the headmaster? Fuck me, I used to go to the school up here. When I was knee height, the grasshopper. It's just fucking ridiculous. <coughs> 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 so you know what I mean it's like I find it really I find it how the hell these trolls can just do what they do it's embarrassing absolutely embarrassing me if that was anyone in my family I'd die of fucking cringe to how these trolls can go as far as they do without even a, a care in the world. You know what I mean? I mean, seriously, these trolls must have been wronged in a, in a different life, mate. So bad that they've got to go around trying to make other innocent people's lives a misery. But it doesn't, it doesn't uh, uh, bother me one iota. Because I think to myself, oh, well, my case is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger every day. You know what I mean? It doesn't bother me in the slightest. You know, I, I know what I know what's going on with my case because I get updates nearly every other day. So it's like <laughs> trolls. I've asked you more than on, on more than one occasion, go away, leave me alone. You don't want to listen. So I think to myself, oh, well, okay, then carry on. Because the more you're doing it, the more you're making my case so much stronger against you. And when the day comes and you do get caught, I'm thinking to myself, oh, well, can't say you weren't warned. Don't go crying like a bitch when you end up in that dock. Because I've certainly got nothing to fucking fear. And I've got nothing to hide. So it's like I say, carry on with all your bullshit. It don't, it don't bother me. It doesn't bother me one iota. You want to carry on doing what you're doing? Good luck to you. Because not only have I got the evidence of these trolls doing what they're doing to me, I've also got the evidence of what they're doing to other people as well. Other victims. Which I'm not going to mention any names. But there are other victims. So, like I say, it just makes my case even stronger. Like I say to all the other victims out there, their cases are nothing to do with me. And I will emphasise on that. So, no, they're not doing any statements for me. I'll, I'll do statements for them if they wish to, if they want to. I'll be more than glad to... To, to, to help them out if they ever needed any help. But I don't think they do. They know what they're doing. All the other victims out there. But like I say, they're not doing any statements on my behalf. So before this twat goes around saying to people, Oh, Fat Dan said that he's do you're doing statements for him, blah, 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 blah. No, they're not. So I will like to emphasise on that one. Yeah, I deal with my own case. This motherfucker wants to have a problem and a beef and a war with me. That's what this motherfucker's got and that's what he'll get. So like I say, i just like to emphasise on that one. Because I know that he likes to go around spreading bullshit and lies about people. But like I say, you know, to all the other victims out there because of this cunt, I say keep fighting, don't give up, never back down, don't give up. Because I ain't giving up and I certainly ain't backing down. I 
I'll nail these bastards if it's the last thing I do. But Luke, I will say this. You hang around with that twat, I guarantee you, there's going to be a time when he does go down. So I would distance yourself from him very, very quickly. That's all I'm going to say. You want to continue having that twat on your panel? Good luck to you, mate. Good luck to you. Because I will say this, they do have your address, the police. So I'm not worried. Doesn't bother me one iota. So. So like I say, I just find it really bizarre. I find it cringe. You know what I mean? Saying shit like I'm still talking to Rick Berry. Wow. Okay. If that's what you think. Then you're more fucking stupid than I thought. So, but carry on. It doesn't bother me. In the slightest. So. But like I say to all these silly fucking little trolls out there. Carry on doing what you're doing. Because eventually there will be a time when you're found. There will be a time when you're found. And mark my words. It's going to be lights out. So. So. But it is what it is, so. But yeah. It is what it is, so. That's all I've got to say, really, for now, so. Peace out, guys, and have a good day. So, peace out.